Katie Simpson is inside the U.S. Capitol building for us tonight. So, Katie, Biden pulled no punches when it came to his political rival. President Joe Biden used his State of the Union address to deliver a scathing attack on his political opponent, Donald Trump. He didn't mention Trump by name, just repeatedly referring to him at his, as his predecessor, but truly offered American voters a preview of what the next eight months is going to look like on the federal election campaign trail. Uh, Biden was fired up going after Trump for his positions on Russia, some of the comments he's made about Vladimir Putin, going after him for his positions on reproductive rights, with Roe versus Wade being overturned under uh, because of the, the appointment of conservative justice by Donald Trump and going after Trump for what happened on January 6th. January 6th lies about the 2020 election and the plots to steal the election posed a great, gravest threat to U.S. democracy since the Civil War. But they failed. America stood. Here's the simple truth. You can't love your country only when you win. And Katie, for many people, it's not just what Biden had to say tonight, but, but really how he delivered his speech. He was fired up, he was shouting, he was angry. And anger sometimes has a way of looking energetic and he really leaned into that. Republicans coming out of this speech telling us that uh, it was far too political, that this was more of a campaign speech than a State of the Union address. And they're frustrated with that, they're furious with that. But of course, this is to be expected. This is what happens in a US election campaign. Joe Biden is facing a lot of criticism and concern from voters. They're worried he is simply too old to do this job. He is not mentally fit to continue in this stressful, highly important job, to say the least. Tonight, he is trying to deliver a message to voters that that's not the case, trying to look energetic and ready to fight. All right, Katie Simpson in Washington for us tonight.